YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tay. Y'all see the thumbnail? I'm back at it. Another comparison video for you guys, man. If y'all are new to the channel, look below and I'll put links to four or five of my last comparison vids. I put my collection videos in there as well so y'all can check them out also. My comparison videos are for those of you on the fence. As if you don't know if you want to cop the new release because you'd rather cop the, a shoe that looks like it or maybe it's two shoes that are exactly the same and y'all need a video where you like, hmm, like should I cop the new over the old or should I just cop the old versus the new, man? That's the point of my comparison videos, man. So this video is about two shoes that look like each other but they're not the same shoe, man. So I have your 2017 Jordan 8 alternates versus your original colorway Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny. These two shoes do look a lot like each other, man. That's the whole purpose of the video, so y'all can decide which one y'all would rather have. Especially if you're on the fence, if you want to cop these or not. So, the Jordan 8 alternate series are shoes that were in production back in the day, but just never made the cut. These shoes are the would-have-been shoes back when Jordan was actually playing the game. So these shoes could have been original colorways, but they never made the cut. Because as y'all know, as they're making shoes, there are a whole bunch of different drawings and colors that they put together. So some shoes make the cut and some don't. So this is just one of those shoes where they were back doing drawing, doing colors. And this is one that could have made the cut back in the day, but it just didn't. Instead, the Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny is what was made at that time. So, so far this is the fifth alternate shoe. It started back in 2016. Y'all know Jordan Brand by now, man. Jordan Brand will always try to latch on to a series just to give their shoes a nickname. So this is the fifth Jordan alternate sneaker. I'll put the pictures of the other ones over here, man. So we have the Jordan 2 that came out in 2016. That's the first one that started it. After that, it was the Jordan 4. After that, it was the Jordan 5 Low. And of course, your Jordan 12s, which I have right here. Now, normally when Jordan Brand doesn't do good on a series, they'll just drop you off. Like, they'll just stop making you and they'll act like you, you just never happened. Kind of like the whole Jordan Lab series. If Jordan Brand just isn't doing good on a series, they'll just drop you off and forget all about you. Now, in 2016, Three out of the four shoes that came out just didn't do well. Like they went to outlets, they just didn't do it. This is the only alternate shoe that actually did well in sales overall. But the other ones, they just didn't do well, man. And some of them are still in outlets right now. So, but this definitely is the best selling alternate shoe so far. I did do a video comparing this shoe versus the actual original colorway Cherry 13. If y'all haven't seen that joint, I'll put that roll link right here, man. So y'all make sure y'all click that link and check that comparison video out also, man. So let's go ahead and go to the tables, compare the joints, and we'll come back here. I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap, Twitter, and I'll see y'all in a minute, man. Let's go. And start with the boxes. Your alternates came in your black gold Jumpman box. Your Bug Bunnies came in your black white Jumpman box. Retail price back in 2013 was 160. Style codes do match each other. The color codes are different. This just says white, black, true red when there are more colors on the shoe than that. Fast forward to your alternates. $30 price jump, 190. Color code 104, which is white, gem red, black, wolf gray. Roll up to the toe boxes. You can see that the leather on both shoes is the same as far as the smooth leather on both. Roll up the lace eyelets, we see that the Bugs Bunny on your left has that gray new buck going around the lace eyelets while your alternate is just leather. Now we're talking the straps. The straps have those perforated holes on the alternate, so y'all can see really good here. And your Bugs Bunnies is simply just smooth leather. Talking the tongues here, the Jumpman's red on alternates and it's blue with a gray border on your Bugs Bunnies with that red, dark gray, and light gray carpet. And your alternates has white, light gray, and black carpet with a red ring going around the Jumpman. Now we're talking the buckles on the straps. It is a deep, shiny, rich red on your alternates. Very nice. And simply a light red plastic on your Bugs Bunnies. Now under, under the straps, there's nothing on both shoes. And the outside of both shoes. You can see your Bugs Bunny on your left has that gray new buck going around the ankle. Or your alternate is simply an all leather shoe. 
Let me go in closer looking at the pattern here. See the pattern is completely different on both shoes. There are hits of gray in your Bugs Bunnies as well. That matches that midsole. Keep rolling up. Go to the center of the midsole. There's hits of red there on your Bugs Bunnies. Keep on going here and there's hits of red at the bottom of the midsole on your alternates with your glitter hits there. Also on the midsole which is very nice. Nice little hits of glitter. It's just a matte gray on your Bugs Bunnies. Your perforation holes from the straps translates all the way up around the toes here and on the sides of the shoe on your alternates. As far as the side panels here, they both have those perforated holes with the same type of spacing on both. See it matches up perfectly there. And the Velcro strap lockdowns on the sides of both shoes, they are that same new buck quality. They both say Air Jordan on the straps. And they are both exactly the same length. And the inner sides of both shoes, y'all can see that's pretty much the same as the outside. I don't ever repeat the same thing twice. The differences are, is that plastic cutout is bigger on your alternates, as y'all can see, with the pattern on it. A little bit smaller on your Bugs Bunnies. Going closer here, that red on the bottom of the midsole is on the back of the shoe, on the inner side of the shoes. And on the outside, it was on the front, but it's just white on the uh, inner side of the front of the shoes. Last thing to note is the shape of the buckles they are different let me go in here so y'all can get them both in screen look at the buckles and y'all can see the shape is different it's a little bit slimmer on your bug bunnies on your left and it's a little bit fatter on your alternates on your right now it's time for the backs and the interiors they both came with cardboard shoe trees that your alternate has the paper with the shoe tree now we look at them both lined up here, everything matches up the same, the height, the strap placement, the midsole place, everything is the same. Now as far as the new buck on the Bug Bunny, it is all the way around the rear of the shoe in that light gray. Our alternate is simply all leather. We already know about the midsole color here, difference here with that glitter on your alternate that's on your right. Now we're talking the pull tab, it's got 1993 in your alternate stitched in white with a red pull tab while your Bug Bunny is simply an all black pull tab. Now let's go to the interior of both shoes. We can see that is that crazy pattern on the sock liner of your alternates that's on your right here. And the sock liner is simply black on your Bugs Bunnies. The ankle padding differences is the same on both shoes. Now the padding material is different. It's nylon as y'all can see on your Bugs Bunnies here. And on your alternates, it's that cotton. See that? Cotton and nylon. But besides that, the sock liners are the same thickness, and they both have black insoles with the red jumpman. They both have that. And the size tags are on the sides of the ankle on both shoes. And the bottom of both shoes. Y'all can clearly see the differences here the pattern, the color placement. Everything is different here. Only thing the same is the Jumpman color and the size of the Jumpman. And the circles on the bottom of the shoes. They are a little bit bigger on your alternates. Some of them are. And some do match up as the same size as your Bugs Bunnies. And we finally see why the outside of the bottom of the midsole is red. And why the inside of the bottom of the midsole is red on your alternates. Hi right, YouTube. Welcome back man. Talk to me. Jordan A alternates. Jordan A OG colorway Buzz Bunny. Well, let me go down in the comments, man, which one y'all rocking with. My thoughts on the alternate A, so I think it's a very nice shoe. I like how they chose to use all leather, and the red is what makes this shoe pop, man. And the color of the buckle they chose, I think that buckle on here really makes this shoe pop really clean. And that 1993 just gives it that, hey, this shoe first came out in 93, man. I think that's a very, very nice touch. Very clean shoe, no doubt, man. Now, as far as your OG colorway Bugs Bunnies, man, this 2013 pair was the fourth time this shoe ever came out. It first came out in 93, as you see on the back of the alternates. So it was 1993, 2003, 2008 countdown pack, and then the 2013 pair that I have right here in hand, man. So y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on this colorway as well, and thoughts on anything else down below for that matter, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Follow me on Instagram, Snap, Twitter, all that good stuff, man. Now, y'all know every video I always bring out something extra. And y'all probably thought that the extra shoe was the alternate 12s. It's not. So, I mean, I'm not sure how much y'all follow the buzzing or soon to come release shoes, but the Jordan 1 New Love is supposedly coming back out this year. 
So guess who already got y'all locked down for that comparison video Windows release? Y'all know how I rock by now, man. So I have your 2008 Old Love, New Love Jordan 1 pack. So I got it right here for you guys, man. So when that shoe drops, I already got y'all locked down for that comparison, man. So subscribe if you new, man. My next video will be the Jordan 12 Playoff High versus Lows. So if that video is, is made and up by the time you see this, I will put that link right here so it'll roll over and y'all go ahead and click on that and watch that joint, man. And you can't just say you real. It's something you've got to be. I'll catch y'all next video, YouTube. Easy. This video is all Jordan 5 that dropped in 2006. Why 06? Because it's the best color year for Jordan 5s of all time. This video is your 2017 January 28th release, Chinese New Year 12, versus your 2013 release, Taxi 12.